Hi, this is Jenny Hatch, Natural Family Blog. I'm just putting together some holiday granola to give out in holiday gift bags instead of the traditional cookies and brownies that so many people seem to give. And tomorrow my husband Paul's going to make a huge batch of healthy whole wheat cinnamon rolls and then tomorrow night we'll go out and deliver to our friends uh, the granola and the cinnamon rolls. So quickly, here's how you put it together. It's just five cups of organic old-fashioned oatmeal. and giving it to friends. I want it to be nice and sweet for them. Perhaps a little bit sweeter than I would do myself. And then you're gonna put in maybe three quarters of a cup of olive oil. And to this, you're gonna add some fresh ground spices. And I like to do my spices um, in the grinder from the whole spice because that gives it just a superior flavor. And the spice I'm going to use, this is some anise seed, star anise, and it's a really cool um, spice that comes in the shape of a star. And I just go ahead and throw that right in my spice mill. And I'm going to add to it some cloves, again, fresh cloves, probably, I don't know, 20. And then I've got some cinnamon sticks here. I'm just going to use one cinnamon stick. And you just go ahead and break that and put it in your mill and grind it. And what you'll find in working with whole foods is that you just almost have to add some sea salt to whatever you make to bring out the flavors. So to the spices, I'm going to add about a teaspoon of sea salt and what I've got in here is just regular um, refined salt with this wonderful Celtic sea salt that I like to use. And I'll just show you the package of it real quick. Oh, it's not up there. Oh well. You can get the Celtic sea salt at the health food store. It's kind of pricey. It's pricey at $15 a bag, but um, it's really yummy and it has a lot of trace minerals in it, which are great for anything you cook. Okay, that's what is going in the oven right now. Now the secret side of my, um, secret ingredient side of my granola comes with the dried fruits that you put in, and I'll show you how to do that real quick. I like to bake my granola on this baking parchment paper the dried fruits to it and you bake it for an additional 15 minutes and let me quickly show you how to do the dried fruits. Um, into your blender put the juice of two organic lemons Andy, Andy don't egg him on I'm trying to make a movie. Do you think you could take him out for a walk? Yeah. And I'm dressed up because in about a half an hour I'm leaving with my husband to go down to the temple in Denver. So I'm kind of in a rush to get this done. Um, okay, so you've got your lemon juice. And to this you want to add some more of the agave nectar. And the lemon juice is the crucial ingredient. You don't have to sweeten it up too. What it found is that lemon juice really brings out the flavors of your dried fruits. And to this, I'm going to add some dried cherries. And these are black cherries. And then I've got some wonderful... Andy, could you get him out of here? I've got some organic um, flame seedless raisins. And these are... These are great in granola. And then to make it um, festive for the holidays, I bought these cranberries. And that's going to give it some wonderful red color. So um, that's going to be the main dried fruit I put in there. I put in a lot of that. So it'll really give it some great color. And the reason why I put it in the blender is because while the um, granola is cooking, what I do is I just lightly blend this, not, not to a puree, but just lightly, and let it sit in my blender. Um, 
and then when it's time to add it to the granola, it's all mixed with that lemon and the sweetener, and it's reconstituted a little bit as well. So we'll come back when the granola is finished, and I'll, I'll show you the finished product. Here is one more quick shot of the granola just before I pop it in the oven. And um, I made enough that five cups plus all the other ingredients is enough to do two full cookie sheets. As I said, I lined it with this parchment paper. And then here inside of my blender, you can see the dried fruit, the agave sweetener, and the lemon juice. So I've gone ahead and, and blended that up just a little bit. I think I may do it just one more time just to mix around this stuff a little bit. And that's all you want to do, just a little bit. Um, and I'm just going to let it sit here for the 45 minutes that the granola is baking. And then um, when it's done, I will add the dried fruit and then bake it for an additional 15 minutes and then it will be all ready to be packed in these these cute little um, sacks that I bought that just have you know enough for maybe two servings in, a, in each bag and we'll use those to, to pass around to our friends. So I'll be back when it's done. The granola is finished and when I pulled it out of the oven I just threw it back in the bowl and I put in the rest of this container of cranberries and this is a high vitamin C food and so with the lemons and the cranberries you've got a very nutritious breakfast going on here. Now what you're going to want to do is just mix those cranberries in really well and the steam from the hot granola helps to um, hydrate them as well and then after it has completely cooled down you go ahead and just load it into your little bags and it's a wonderful holiday treat for your friends. Through the years we all together if the fates allow hang a shining star upon the highest